This is a model version of our robots. Typically, the robots are the size of a small car or uh, the size of a big luggage, depending on the type of payload and the, and the mass required to carry instruments. Our amphibious robots move by using four of these scrolls. Uh, they can propel through water or they can roll on uh, hard ground. The robots can be instrumented to collect samples, to conduct standard geotechnical tests, as well as measure the depth of bodies of water. And this is important because companies can use this information to improve their mining processes, to their waste treatment processes, as well as understand uh, the environmental impact of their operations. We don't need to worry about going between hard ground and water. Robots are amphibious, so we can do both. And most importantly, they work really well in the transitions. So while you can use a boat on water, sometimes it's very difficult to get to the shore of the deposit and deploy the boat, or in shallow waters, the boat can get stuck. Uh, with amphibious vehicles, you take the human out of harm's way, and it's much easier to deploy the instruments. Many of the technologies that we're developing here have been inspired by the techniques that Mars exploration robots use. Uh, for example, we can learn a lot about the terrain of oil sand tailings by using the same uh, approaches as Curiosity Mars rover uh, uses to study Martian soil. Uh, our ultimate goal is to develop the expertise and technologies to be able to propose solutions for asteroid mining, investigations of other planets, and very, very cool stuff.